all right so i'm gonna give y'all this follow the step guide and um just pretty much follow the instructions on all of the things that i've demonstrated here and um let me just scroll down i also have a few links and um they are linked to rumble and what they are is just um one is a way how to measure um your facial measurements what application you can use and how to use it and i believe the other one is just like to explain like some measurements that um might be a little bit difficult to understand but i kind of break that down just to make it more simpler and um ways that you can do it, measure uh certain angles better and things that i typically look out for and then also i have just a random pdf of um just a, a, a celebrity that i've measured and um the reason why i did it is to also make it easier to know um where to measure the points to measure from and how to measure uh, a particular face and then at the bottom here i also have another link which is the formula i know some of y'all have been asking for the formula um yes i am giving it out and um i'm just gonna go through the formula and um yeah and also the link to this is also going to be in the bottom of the description so make sure to click on that link to have full access to this formula guide all right All right, so once you click on the formula, you should see something that looks like this. And um, this has different sections to it, as you can see on the bottom. And um, I believe it should be, let's see, six different sections. All right. And then if like that, like what I had on the Word document, make sure to read all of the instructions to get a full idea of what to do. And um, I'm going to make a few changes to that Word document. I'm going to expand it even more uh, to make things more easier to understand. All right. Now, I do want to break some things down real quick. Now, let's start off with the dimorphism. And I'm also going to break it down with the Word document as well to make it more simpler and easy for y'all. So how I look at this is the top score. And then each one is 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%. Um, the top score is 9.5. Um, I'm just going to let y'all know right now. There's no such thing as a 10 for any of these, right? For body fat factors, miscellaneous or dimorphism, the highest you can get is 9.5 at that point. And um, like I said, each one is worth 1%. If you are within that range, now I have a 0.5. And a 0.5 means that you are one to two percent away from the ideal range all right so that means you are a tier two but you're very close to being a tier one now i will explain that in the word document as well for any of y'all guys who do click on that link another thing too is we have the counsel tilts and the eye aspect ratio and then we also have the counsel tilts and the eye aspect ratio obviously they're different for men and women but um with this scoring is going to be the similar all right so what i mean by that is careful tilt maximum points is 0 0.5 eye aspect maximum score is 0 0.5 when you add 0 0.5 together you get a total of one and then the same thing goes for here now if you have half of a point right because um i didn't put 2.5 i mean not 2.5 0 0.25 or on any of these right so 0 0.25 is half of 0 0.5 so if you have half of it for the counsel tilts or half of the eye aspect ratio right that'll be 0 0.5 now if you have half on one but a full or you pass the other one that'll be 0 0.75 simple as that all right so you'll just get half of the 0 0.5 instead of half of one if that makes any sense so pretty much these uh, two individual ones each are worth half of what any of the other ones are worth all right that's just the full credit for it the body fat factors um it's a little bit uh it, i mean it's not tricky um it still goes up to a 9.5 but how i set it up is you can either get half or full half or full half or full half or full and um 
you would just look at the person's face from different angles and make the proper assessments to see whether or not they get the full point or get half of the point or you know what not get any points at all because that's how it can be as well and also for the amorphism yes you cannot get there's if you don't fit or if you don't get a tier one or or if you're not close to a tier one then you don't get any points for that um angle for whatever angle that it may be all right and then also for the miscellaneous features i need to break something down real quick now we have a whole bunch of flaws these are all flaws so with the um miscellaneous features you pretty much start off as a 9.5 and then every check that you get or every one that applies to you is pretty much like a deduction to your overall score and then um let's start off with the skin quality because i know i need to um, talk about this real quick now i do have dark circles i just added this in this was actually part of the skin quality but i felt like i needed to separate that because i know people are going to forget about dark circles and how important dark circles is and that can really affect people's um attraction level right and it's something that we kind of pick up but we think is natural but in reality is not natural um another thing that falls into skin quality because skin quality is a big category in itself is burns we also have bruises acne scars moles or when i mean moles excessive amounts of moles uh, pimples rash skin pigmentation or color change and then we also have uh, a massive amount of freckles as well um, I know some people may disagree on a couple of things that I just said, but th for me, honestly, that's what I see as a flaw. And I know others do see it as well. Um, but like I said, um, if you are kind of confused or on any of these, make sure to um, DM me on Instagram. Or if you want me to actually rate you myself or not rate you myself, but if you need any help with, um, you know, the miscellaneous features or body fat factors, for example, uh, just send me a couple of pictures and I can, you know, pretty much give you what I believe your body fat factors is and your flaws for your miscellaneous features as well. And another thing too is um, with, let's see, with the miscellaneous features, um, make sure to um, be, go through every single one and look at your face as you're going through every single one. Because another thing is you can also miss some of these. So be careful when you're doing the miscellaneous features. Um, don't go too hard on yourself um be just be fair for yourself um you know just kind of you know see everything that you need to see and um point out just all the flaws and um if you you know if you need to ask somebody else like hey do you see any flaws in this person's face you know they might be more honest than because for me me honestly i just st uh, point out anything that i see right and the reason why i'm saying this is because when i did this myself for my own personal self um, at first I was easy and then I was like, you know what? I need to be fair and I need to actually state the things that I actually see, right? All right. So, um, and another thing too is, and I don't want to be too long on this, um, for body fat factors, I know I rate celebrities a lot, so it kind of gets skewed, but based off of the subs that I have rated, um, usually the body fat factors will range between, I would say like a 6.5 to like an 8.5 ish, somewhere around there. And then the miscellaneous features can also be within that range or even lower too, um, depending on on you know the person's age because of puberty. Um, those acnes and bumps and you know scarring and all those things do play a factor into it as well. All right, another thing too that I just remembered is that how I think of it is we got four different type of categories. All right, now I'm gonna shift over to the overall rating for the formula. And what you see here is this is the final score. This is pretty much um, the formula to it, I guess you can say. And, you know, you got 40, 20, 25 percent, 15 percent. All of them are rated differently. Um, obviously, Harmony is the majority. And after that, you got the body fat. And then after that, you have the facial dimorphism and then the miscellaneous features. All right. And um Uh, how i think about this is kind of like four different levels right so i don't think of it as like an absolute number so 
how I think of it is low, medium, and high. So low, medium, like around like a 2.5 to like a 3.5. A medium is somewhere around the 5-ish range, so 4.5 to like a 6. And then high is like a 6.5 to like an 8.5. I just think of it like that. And with these different ranges, I can kind of get a good range of where you might lie at. Um, and the more you know i look at the person's face the more things i can kind of because you know when i'm measuring people's faces for an example i kind of see flaws like especially with asymmetry like yo this person's jaw kind of tilts to the right side but i'm not gonna um, put that in the miscellaneous features because i'm gonna be fair um but if it's to a point to where as soon as you look at that person's face and you can see that their jaw kind of tilts to the right side or they have a crooked or bent nose, then you can put that as, you know, the miscellaneous features. I'm just saying that for an example, right? So it's almost kind of like stating the obvious, right? But sometimes you got to kind of get give it like a second look to, you know, make sure for the miscellaneous features, right? That's the part of being fair, but not too picky. All right. And then, um, yeah, that's, so that's pretty much it. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think here if, if I miss anything else. And oh yeah, um, once you've done that, um, you wanna go to the rarity chart. And I have also the rarity chart for everybody to see where they will fall at. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, really, that's really it for you know this stuff. And um, if you have any trouble with it, um, make sure to, ooh, what happened? Uh, make sure to um, DM me um, and um, yeah, so. I'm out. Peace.